Hey guys, welcome back to Cave Story 3DS. In the last episode, we made it here to the bushlands and we got our new weapon, the fireball. And now in this episode, after defeating the slime, that is the giant jellyfish, I was able to get slime to, uh, actually it's what, jellyfish juice or something? Wait, let me check my inventory. It's called the jellyfish jelly. Alright, now that I have the jellyfish jelly, I can put out fires in certain fireplaces. There's actually three fireplaces that you need to take care of. There's Chaco's fireplace, which is to progress the story, and there's this, there's one here in Mamiga Village. The other one's in Santa's house, but that's going to be the second one I take care of. Let's take care of this one first. This is actually to get a weapon in the game that I really, really enjoy, and it's going to make things a lot easier on our adventure because it's an amazing weapon once it reaches level 3. Let's see. Let's go into King's house. The assembly hall. If we go here. We use the jellyfish juice. There's something buried within the ashes, and it's the bub line. It's at level one. It is very, very weak. Very, very weak. Now, when you have weapons like these that are very, very weak, my recommendation to you is to kill the enemies with your strong weapons, and then switch to your weak weapon and collect the triangles. Then, that'll make it a lot easier to level up your stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and head back to the bushlands. We have to go kill that jellyfish two more times. But the good thing is that this jellyfish is really close to uh, Santa's house, so this is not going to take me that long at all. This is actually just a, a method to... That it's like a shortcut, per, I'd like to say, because there's something I have to do later on here in bushlands. Um, to, I need to collect some ingredients, and I can get one really early if I do it this way. There we go. Alright, like I said, let me switch to the bub line. Collect these triangles. Boink. And let's just spam the fireball here. And bub line, bub line, bub line. Alright, okay. I instantly leveled it up and I instantly leveled it down again. That's just not cool. It does one damage to the bats. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I can just get this thing to level 2. At level 2, it's a little bit more of a better weapon. Still not as good as its level 3 form. Alright. Let me take care of these guys. Okay. Ugh. Come on. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm almost at level 3. See, now I can... Oh, there it is. Let me show you guys what this does. At level 3, I can hold the button surrounds myself with bubbles and then it just turns into freaking blades of death that's amazing you can massacre a bunch of enemies really really fast like bats and stuff they just don't stand a chance against the bub line very very good weapon all right let's go ahead and go back up here and take care of this jellyfish oh god that was not what i wanted to do all right i'm just gonna polar start Die, 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 die. There we go. Sweet. Now we got the jellyfish juice. That's kind of weird. When I collect it, it's jellyfish juice, but when I check my inventory, it's jellyfish jelly. Is it? Is it jellyfish jelly? It is jellyfish jelly. Kind of like from SpongeBob. Were they trying to reference SpongeBob here? Oh my god, I just blew my mind. They may have tried to reference SpongeBob. That's fantastic. All right. Now we got some charcoal here from Santa's house. That's one of the ingredients that I need to do something later in Bushlands. I don't know if I'll make it that far in this episode, but I'm gonna do my best. All right. Now let's kill and mow these guys down one more time. That's the one thing to do things efficiently here in Bushlands. It can get repetitive in the early going because I have to go back to Mamiga Village, get the bub line, come back, defeat the jellyfish, go to Santa's house, and do it all over again just to proceed. You know, it's annoying, but it's definitely the, the method that takes the least amount of time in it. So that's why I decided to do it this way. All right, here we go. Let's go. Where is my fireball? Oh, God. All right, die, 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 die. Awesome. All right, jellyfish. Time to die. Alright, here we go. And just Polar Star. Polar Star. Run away. Alright, here we go. And this should, this should be the last time I have to get the jellyfish 
juice. I hope. <laughs> I may be wrong and it may be a fourth time I need to get it, but that would just suck so badly. Alright. Let's go ahead and use the fireball. Alright. Now here I'll use my bub line, because there's a bunch of bats. Yoink! Alright, and I need to save the moment I get into uh, Jocko's house. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Now I'm in Jocko's house, I can save. Perfect. And I can keep going forward. Use the jellyfish juice, and we can go right through. Sweet. And the fire goes back on. Now just be careful not to die. That's why I saved here, because here you can mess up and have to repeat everything all over again, because the moment you fall, it's instant death. Here's why I like the bub line, because there's bats here that can just annoy the crap out of you. The bub line is a really good offensive weapon, but it's an even better defensive weapon, because if I just hold it, I surround myself with bubbles. Okay. There we go. Alright, one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three, go. Alright, cool. Alright, we made it to the basically the main portion of uh, Bushlands. Oh, here I got a life capsule. Sweet! Amazing. Alright, that increases my thingy by one. Let's keep going forward. Oh boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. Ow, 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 ow. Alright. Bub line's kinda suffering here, so I'm gonna switch to my polar star. Yeah. Giant frog. And bats. Okay, here I'm gonna save again. Just gonna take advantage of all these save points. And save. Sweet. Okay, now that I have saved. Let's go ahead and go up here. Awesome. Die, giant frog. Die. Oh, whoa. I can go up there. Ugh, sweet. Here we got a missile increase. We can. We now have five more missiles in our inventory that we can fire. Oh, God. That's basically the missile upgrades I was talking about in the last episode, I believe. Okay, here, I think this is where Kazum Kazuma is. Crack in the wall. There's someone in that crevice. Hey, you, boy. I need to get out of here. Would you um, please help me? Sure. Thanks. Please take this. It's a rusty key. Hooray. It was left in this room. Go ahead and use it if you can. There's no keyhole. It seems to be rusted. Um, huh? What do you mean? It's not the right key for that door. Well, that's upsetting. If there's no keyhole, we'll need to break it down. There has to be a better way. Hmm. Let's see. A better way. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit. We need to find a better way inside of that room to get Kazuma out of there. Let's go in here. What's this say? Power supply room. Hmm. I used the rusty key, and that apparently opened this door. Interesting. Hmm. Fan power supply offline. Malco power supply offline. Turn power on? Sure! Whoa. Intruder sighted. Terminate immediately. Oh yeah! Guess who it is, guys? Did you know that the Mimi guy I found wasn't Sue? Yeah, I did. Yep, she wasn't Sue. Because of that, the doctor was extremely upset. Misery received quite the beatdown. Pity, since she's just a girl. Well, the master can't be disobeyed, so that's our fate. This time I'm here to break you for real. Better prepare yourself. All right, boss battle. Balrog number two. But this time we are a little more powered up. We have level three weapons. And especially we got the fireball. 
I'd recommend trying to get Balrog into this little crevice here. Okay, let's see if I can just trick him into being in here. Or I'm just gonna spam like crazy. Alright, he's already about halfway through his health. Come on. Ooh, that was a good hit. Alright. Well, yeah, this is an easy fight. Because once we're leveled up, it's just it just becomes pretty much cakewalk to beat him. What are you? I'm a badass. Defeated Balrog! Alright, let's go ahead and check on our buddy. The head's been crushed in. Its body is jammed into the floor. Do you want to pull it, its body out? Sure! I mean, he did want to kill me, but whatever. Th thank you. You're a good person. And on top of that, so strong. Thank you for saving me. I would like to do something for you to express my gratitude. But with that said, I am only capable of making bombs. You want to open that rusty door? What? Someone is trapped inside? You definitely are a good person. I understand. Let us make a bomb then. We will demolish that door. Please locate the following materials for the bomb. Charcoal. Jellyfish juice again. And gum base. Let us make the bomb once, once all the materials have been amassed. Or amassed. Amassed. Alright, so now we have our list, but now we have one of the ingredients, which is awesome. We already have the charcoal, but now we need to go get jellyfish juice again, and we need to get gum base. Now that I activated the power, it actually makes things easier to... That was weird. I dropped some frames, but we're back, I think, and I hope, I pray. So, I'm gonna go up here save and hopefully everything's okay I really hope so I really 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 hope so in fact I'm not gonna save I'm gonna end this episode here and I'm just gonna double check everything and make sure everything's okay before I do so all right if uh, if everything's okay then this episode's gonna go up if not I'm just gonna re-record everything and hopefully uh, god dang it all right see you guys next time hopefully bye bye